What's going on, TikTok? My name is a very sick JT, the talking head, and you are the audience. And today, I got my first international package. Came all the way from the UK. This is a package from Arrow Films over in the UK. Um, I have a collection of Arrow right here behind me, but this is the first time that I ever bought from their UK site. And the reason I bought from their UK site is that they had a sale for two 4Ks for 22 pounds, or quid, euro, whatever they call it over there. And uh, I ended up ordering this movie and also my pre-order for The Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas 4K uh, as well. Um, after doing this uh, and seeing how much um, they charged me in tax and uh, like customs fees and stuff like that to get it shipped over here, uh, I think I might have been better off just ordering the uh, this from Amazon and pre-ordering from Amazon or or DVD or something um, because this does have a U.S. release, but this is a this is a U.K. disc, Region B disc. Um, so now I've kind of screwed myself because uh, the 4K of Fear and Loathing is cheaper on Amazon. It's like 15 pounds, where it's like 22 on the website, and then this is like around the same price anyway and I could just get it free shipping or whatever um, and but it, it's whatever it's those collectors pains that uh, you will learn as you are collecting you'll, you'll learn what's best to do and this was a fumble on my part but I'm not gonna stick around on it too much I'm only out a few extra bucks and uh, this came and I do have to wait until probably gonna be June before um, Fear and Loathing comes in because of the long ship time to the to the states from from the UK, but let's go ahead and unbox this and see what we got. Uh, it's kind of cool. It's got like this like tab here that you like. Oh, and I ripped it off. Nice. You like rip it open. All right. All right. So first off, I can see there's no slip cover, which I'm immediately a little bit disappointed in. But what can I do? I got Cinema Paradiso from Arrow Video. Uh, this movie is, it's from Arrow Academy, um, actually. This is a movie that I have heard great things about. I heard that it, like, inspired, like, Steven Spielberg, I believe, and, uh, <clears throat> also inspired, if you've seen Clerks 3, the scene where Dante is in the movie theater with Rosario Dawson with Becky, um, was heavily inspired by Cinema Paradiso, so let's go ahead and open this bad boy up. have an ad for a release um, and for Arrow Video Player, uh, but yeah, we just have the disc, disc one, which is the theatrical cut on 4K, and that's a little bit, that's a little bit uh, disappointing. Uh, disc two, the director's cut, is only a Blu-ray. I didn't read into that at all. Um, but yeah, I'm probably going to go and watch this probably tonight. I think it's in Italian. Um, let's see. Special edition contents. New 4K restoration of the theatrical version from the original camera negative supervised by Giuseppe uh, Torrentore and a 2K restoration of the director's cut version. Oh, man. I can kind of see why. The, the theatrical cut's 124 minutes, so a long movie anyway, two hours. And then the director's cut is 174 minutes. That's um, that's a jump right there. Uh, let's see. Special features. Optional English subtitles. Audio commentary with the director and Italian cinema expert critic Millicent Marcus. Um, a Dream of Sicily, a 52-minute documentary profile of Giuseppe Torrentore's featuring interviews with the director and extracts from his early home movies as well as interviews with director Francesco Rossi a paint and painter uh, Pepino Ducato set to music by the legendary Ennio Morosani I'm probably butchering all of those all these Italian names I'm not very versed in uh, Italian pronunciations and nomenclature so um, 
A Bear and a Mouse in Paradise, a 27-minute documentary out in the making of Cinema Paradiso and the characters of uh, Tojo and Alfredo, featuring interviews with the actors who play them, Philippe Norier and Salvatore Cascio, as well as Torrentore, I don't even know, T-O-R-N-A-T-O-R-E, I don't know how to pronounce that, Tornator? Over here in America, we call that a tornado. <laughs> uh, the kissing sequence, Giuseppe Tornadors, <laughs> discusses the origins of the kissing scenes with clips identifying each scene, original director's cut theatrical trailer, and the 25th anniversary re release trailer. So, yeah, this is chock full of uh, special features. <clears throat> Two cuts of the film the theatrical cut on 4K and the director's cut on. Uh, Blu-ray disc uh, 4K scan for the theatrical cut and a 2K scan on Blu-ray disc for uh, the director's cut. Um, I'm going to watch the 4K of the theatrical cut first and then if it's a movie that really strikes me, uh, I'll probably wait a few months, quite a few months, and then watch the director's cut. It's kind of how I do with movies that um, I get that have multiple cuts included with them as it takes me a little bit. I'll watch, uh, I'll, I'll look up what the consensus on the best cut to watch first is. In this case, I'm going to watch the, the theatrical cut first just because it is on the 4K disc. I bought this because it's 4K and I want to watch it on 4K. Um, but yeah, so I'll probably wait a few months if I really enjoy the film and then watch the director's cut, especially because it's so long. 174 minutes, it's a long movie. But all right, guys, thank you for watching. Forgive me again because I have had the man flu for the past three days and I feel like garbage. I haven't made any videos or anything, but this came today and I was so excited for it. It gave me that boosted energy. Uh, so yeah, if you enjoyed it, leave a like, add to favorites, and follow for more. little bonus for you. I just looked up how to pronounce the director's name. Giuseppe Tornator. It's Tornatore. Giuseppe Tornatore. But I'm just going to call him Giuseppe Tornator because I'm a rude American <laughs> and that's what we do. Or you mispronounce names. I'm like, hey, if WWE can have a character named Santino Morella from Italy that mispronounces names like Giancana, then then we can we can mispronounce some of their filmmakers' names. Like Mater without the tail. Just Giuseppe <laughs> Turnator. That's what it is for now on.